identified tonight an eight-week-old puppy with burns to his ears and stomach. People who saved him say he was tortured, and because of those terrible injuries, veterinarians say the puppy will have to have his ears amputated. As KTVU Fox 2's Mike Meback reports, the person who burned the little dog hasn't been found. About six to eight weeks. So definitely a puppy here. Yeah. Curled up in a wicker basket, a little gray, tan, and white puppy named Fireman. And behind those big glassy eyes, little Fireman is hurting. The dog is in extreme amounts of pain. Somebody did something really awful. Beth Allen Garland says he was tortured and that he is now being sedated. Allen Garland is one of many caring for firemen at the Wellpet Vet Clinic in Pittsburgh. It's either a chemical, a severe chemical burn or somebody tried to light his ears on fire. As you see here, fireman's name is on the board and he's slated to have surgery soon on those ears. Now he wasn't found in a street or some dark alley. He actually was located at Antioch Animal Services in their dog run that's surrounded by about a six foot fence. It's not known if the person who dropped him off is the person who tortured him or just someone who possibly found him. But his ears, I think they get itchy and he's itching them. Christy Cush, a volunteer at Antioch Animal Services, is fostering firemen and as you're about to see, he still appears to be frightened two days after being found. Come here, buddy. Signs that he's scared. Another reason I think that he might have been tortured because he he's, he goes into a, like a defense mode and he starts to bite as soon as I try and pick him up. Kush has teamed up with Umbrella of Hope, an organization that saved more than 500 cats and dogs from shelters last year to help in fireman's recovery. The Chihuahua mix will have to have his ears amputated. The exact cause of his injuries is still not known. I can't figure it out because it's his ears and just his under tummy. And if he were to stand or fall into a chemical, it would affect his paws and his paws are not affected. I feel like somebody tortured him. Beth Allen Garland says firemen should be able to live out a great life despite his injuries. She also says a thousand dollar reward is being offered by Fido Alert for information that leads to an arrest. You know, you kind of wonder about the people that are out there walking amongst us that would be willing to harm an animal, let alone a little tiny baby animal. Fireman, a little pup with a lot of fight and hoping someday to find a loving full-time home. In Pittsburgh, Mike Meebeck, KTVU, Fox 2 News.